I'm Eric Becht and I'm currently Troy Van Leeuwen's guitar tech on the Queens of the Stone Age European tour and uh, I'll show you a little bit about what I know about his setup. Uh, his, uh, he's got the two cabinets going here and the, the top cabinet is basically his, uh, it's pretty, the, the dry sound. And then most of the effects go through the bottom cabinet, which is the wet cabinet. And all of his effects seem to be routed through the G-Force. Um, and then that's the eventual final output into that cabinet. So once I kick this in, the other cabinet turns on some distortion and then the, this verb. This is, this is his controller for the G-Force. But I'm not sure of the patch he uses to get to that. He sort of tried to show it to me once, but then he's like, you know. It's secret stuff. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. He's got the two uh, two Voodoo Lab. Uh, th these are these are daisy changed for all his switching, pedal switching and stuff. Then uh, this is Vortex, Lexicon Vortex. Oh, and then, that's an old one. Yeah, and then um, he's got this stuff in here. And then down here, he's got the old uh, the Holiest Grail for a super reverb. This is one of the main. This is the main uh, Troy guitar that's tuned down to C. It's a kind of recent Japanese no, jazz no, master. And this is his other main, uh, his other main C guitar. It's a, uh, I think it's an 80s Les Paul. Yes. Then he's messing around with this lately. This is a... Is that a baritone one or...? No, it's just a... This is a new... It's a Squire Jazzmaster. It's like made in Mexico and... You know, it's not a very expensive guitar, but he likes it. It's, it's a cool guitar. Then, um... This is his main guitar when he plays in the standard E tuning. It's a, yeah, also made in Mexico. Uh, Telly, standard Telly. This guitar is one of the backups. It's interesting because it's not a gold top, it's a completely gold Les Paul, which you don't see very often. And then he's got the, uh, the Jaguar. And both his Jaguar and Jazz Masters have these special bridges. Um, they're called Mastery Bridges. They're like the ultimate sort of replacement bridge for a Jaguar Jazz Master. So it's new technology. They stay in tune really well. Sound good. And once in a while he plays this. <clears throat> this is really nice, old uh, ES-135. It's a little dusty, I guess. So that's it for these guitars. So this pedal is mainly for the steel guitar, this pedal board. So. Pretty heavily affected, and he likes the Ebo too. Fun. He likes the noise. Yeah. So, yeah. That's a, that's about all I have. To, all I can all I can tell you.